This is that and me. Hi, this is Adam B. Uh, no, no nature minute here, unless, uh, you know, a mouse invades the room while I'm here. I was just having a little... I was having a little heart-to-heart -heart talk with my MacBook here. It, for a good long time, um, almost five years, this has been the uh, most powerful machine in the house. And it's a little upset right now, because... Well, you know, it's had a good long run, but it, it, it's got some problems. The I need to replace the logic board. Uh, I'm raising the money for that. Uh, I'm rehabbing another machine that I'm going to sell. And hopefully the cost of that, and I'll be able to get it done cheap. But, you know, you hear the fan. Fan runs all the time. So, you know, I can't really... And do too much with it. It's and and, and it, it's old. I, I'm running Snow Leopard because I don't like Lion. And hey, Eudora forever. Um, but you know, it's upset because it can't be number one forever. And actually, it's not number one anymore because I got this. How's that for presentation skills? Um, I am quite humbled to say. Yeah, my good friend Alfred, he doesn't have to do anything for me for like a, a decade now. Um, treated me to an early Christmas present. Uh, if he actually posts the thing, there'll be an annotation somewhere on the screen, possibly here, or here, or maybe like right here. See, that's how long it took for the fan to go down. Um, Alfred gifted me with a new Mac Mini. Uh... He's a sneaky one. He occasionally asks me to do some uh, researching for him. You know, th throws me a situation. He says, uh, you know, a friend of mine needs this, friend of mine needs that. I mean, he's got uh, a relative staying nearby and doesn't really know the area. What's a good GPS? I told him I used Garmin. I used Garmin and um, still do. Uh, I like them. They're simple. They're straightforward. It's easy enough to program stuff into them. If he gets one, I'll be glad to help him out. It's a lot to choose from. I get one that with lifetime maps. One I have doesn't have lifetime maps, and it's weird. Like this is one. It's just a little quick little story. This is uh, uh, Pines Boulevard, south of here, in Broward County. They moved the exit from where it was to a new place to get onto the nearby highway. So now, when I'm on Pines Boulevard and I'm heading back north and I'm getting on the highway. It thinks for, you know, like 30, 40 seconds there, I'm just driving through the green grass field. At any rate, he was calling me, he asked me some stuff, he said, you know, I was getting a friend of mine a Mac Mini, if I, if I was getting someone, uh, if someone was getting a new Mac Mini, if someone was getting a new Mac Mini, would you spring for the extra $200 to get you the faster, pro the, 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 the i7 processor? Uh, well, yeah, dual core, and, as opposed to quad core, I'd go for the quad core. You know, it's a couple of hundred megahertz slower, um, but you get two more cores, and for that two hundred dollars, you also get a uh, bigger hard drive. There's a terabyte hard drive in those. That's one of these. This is an i7, four gigs of RAM. I'll uh, when I can put together a little money, I'll I'll go straight to sixteen. I'm not stopping at eight. Woohoo! Um, so I'm gonna do what a lot of people have already done. Unbox the thing. Excuse me, MacBook. Don't worry, you're not going anywhere yet. So, yes, many people have unboxed these on, on camera before, but none of them have been me. This is a little razor blade from Pearl Arts and Crafts, four locations. One of them's here in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, one's in Manhattan. There's one in New Jersey I've never been to, and there's one in East Meadow, Long Island, and I've actually been to that one. That may actually be where I got this. This thing may be like 25 years old. Yes, next year is the 25th anniversary of 1988. Hi out there, 1988 fans. Actually, something happened. Something is going to happen next year that hasn't happened since before 1988. It's just a calendar thing. It's 
speed comes off. Oh, and look, there it is. It's just, it's there. It's not like when we were unboxing Al's G5 and there's this big piece of cardboard with a large photograph. A life-size photograph of the actual unit inside. I never really understood why they did that. Hang on. Like, here's a picture of the thing. There's a little mouse pull tab. And by the way, shins in air. That's the whole thing right there. That's the whole computer right there. Um, it's smaller than my head. I mean, it's a little wider than my head, but it's not as tall as my head. Hey, look. Adam's apple. Box comes with a power cord. A little pull tabby thing full of welcome. Uh, that used to contain the uh, software. You don't need that anymore. It's already on here. And the... HDMI to DVI adapter, which I will be using. Have you seen enough? You want me to actually turn the thing on? Yeah? Okay, well, I mean, you can stop watching here. I'd rather you watch all the way through and click on, um, you know, see, see the ad up here? I don't know what it's for. It could be for a Samsung Galaxy S3. I want you to click on it, please. Just, I'm begging you. That 16 gigs of RAM is not going to, you know, pay for itself. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I think I have handy an old LCD display. What do you know? I can put it right there. And look, a power cord and DVI cable. You'd almost think I was prepared. And look, it's a power, well, you can't really see it. But there's a power strip over here. Be right back. Hi. And I'll need to plug this in as well. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's enough slack. All right. This is like my favorite part. Removing the thin plastic. Breaking the license seal. Watch, watch me agree to a contract. <sighs> Sitting in the other room, which you may see at some point, because I might actually, because that's where it's finally going to gonna get deployed in what I call my office, which is really just the second bedroom for this house, um, is my G5 tower. How many of these would fit inside that space where the G5 tower is? Power? Video? This is the part where I speed things up a little. Yeah, I've taken this monitor out of service, which is why none of the cables are connected. But it does work, and come on, you deviant. That gets clicked in back there, and that gets clicked in back there. And that's it. Let's power up the monitor. I hope if I plug the power into the monitor, silly me. Yeah, I know, I need a shave, I need a haircut. Hans G monitor. I originally bought it for the um, iTunes server inside. Here we go. First, first boot. No, it's a sneaker. First sneaker. Let's kick this thing off. That's a good sign. This mouse will not work on the glass tape. I'll have to use it like up here. By the way, this is Mountain Lion, which I've not really used before. Um, haven't had a, an opportunity. The uh, old laptop could go up the line, but I wasn't really... Um, silly me. More interested in talking to you than I am in plugging everything in. Um, wake up. But the, um, you know, the old laptop over there can only go up the line. I don't like line. I will get along without Eudora on this. This is not going to be my main day-to-day -day daily machine. This is going to be my sitting in the background crunching stuff out machine. 
um, doing video conversions for my, hello, video conversions for my uh, Apple TVs, doing um, video conversions for my Apple TVs. Uh, I'm going to do other stuff. I'm going to put uh, VMware on here and, uh, you know, I'm going to put server on here. I want to learn server. Um, do you have anything to say? Because usually if you just leave this alone for a minute, English for the main language. Press the return key. I would have loved that job. Just, you know, sitting in a studio and go, to use English for the main language. Just press the return key. Of course, That one makes me want to obey. I don't know why. Si. Now I feel like I want a very strong coffee and to get slapped in the face by a pretty woman. Can you hear these? That's, um, oh, yeah, that's right. I believe that's Arabic, which is actually a, an interesting sounding language. There's a number of, uh, oh, here, here. Da, da. I, I love a good Russian accent. Um, I mean, has anyone really explored all of these? I can't argue with that. Romana. What, like the, the old doctor's companion? Interesting. I'm not hearing the Hebrew. Oh well. Well, back to English because that, that's the only language I completely speak. Uh, I took some Spanish in college, I took some French in high school, I worked in Miami in two, for two years sitting next to a bunch of Cuban girls in an office and so I understand a little. I can't speak it, and I certainly wanna would not want to run in it day to day. United States. Mm, yeah, I can't use the keyboard. Gotta click. Um, I do not want to transfer information. This is going to be a clean install. Um, I'll enable location services. Excuse me a moment. Apple ID time. Yeah, buddy. Uh, which one should I use? I have two. Uh, the other one I use for my purchases. Because that's where my, um... That I've got already gotten from... Yeah, that's where my, my Apple apps that I've got already gotten from the App Store. Okay, terms and conditions. Well, I'm going to do what 99.9999% of all us users out there do and click through without reading everything. They could legally hold me to this. Uh, here again, I'm saying I've read it. Do I agree? Unfortunately, I do. I'm going to use iCloud. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. Find my Mac because... You see, an iMac or a Mac Pro, I wouldn't bother with this because they're too heavy. Well, you could you could kind of take off with a 21-inch iMac, but the 27s are big, they're heavy. Mac Pro, you need two people to get any speed going. But this thing, this thing would fit in a lunchbox. Use Find My Mac. Allow. Allow. It's doing stuff. The thing is, it is so quiet. 
I put my ear right up on it, and it barely knows. It barely knows. It can, it it barely makes a sound. Can you just see that? Um, I'm now going to tell it to set my time zone. It's trying to determine my current location. Wow, it knows what city I'm in. That's a little creepy. Thank you. I have done all the check marks with the rectangular lines next to them. Face, the spinal frontier. Well, that's it. It doesn't play, you know, a big catchy tune anymore. Do, 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 and welcome flying all over the space. No battery power. Hey, did the picture move? Did I move? Well, yeah, the camera battery went out. Um, great. I don't really want to have to watch the last bit of footage there to try and recall what I was saying, but... Um, wow, I completely lost my train of thought, and I'm not going to go back and look for it. That train has left the station. Meanwhile, this is here. Uh, I'm going to start building it up to the, be the kind of system I want it to be. Um, how much is server? Is it like 20 bucks? 30? Uh, I gotta wait for a check to come in and then, uh, then maybe I'll buy server and put it on here. You know what? A book to learn server will cost more than server itself. How sick is that? Because Apple doesn't sell the books. Hmm. Wonder if it's out there in the cloud somewhere. Not my personal cloud, but, you know, the cloud in general. Well, at any rate, Here's the new machine. It's set up. It's ready to go. Uh, this is not its final resting place because this is the coffee table in my living room for crying out loud. So I'm going to stop recording and get to setting up the new, uh, the new toy. And then uh, maybe later on when I figure out its final placement position in my office, if it's clean enough in there, and believe me, it's a tight fit in there. Um, I'll, uh, I'll show you how I finally get it set up. Because I'm going to keep the G5 online, because it's perfectly good for, for doing certain things. Uh, not really sure what. I may, you know what? I may actually do another roll down and take the mirror drive door out of service as the iTunes server and turn the G5 into the iTunes server. It's a never ending roll down. It's like. Rolling down from the top of a high mountain, but there's no ground at the bottom. It's kind of like being in low Earth orbit. Without the fun of the zero-gravity toilet. Which, now that I think about it, excuse me, um, lunch and I did not quite get along today. Thanks again, Alfred. Thanks to everyone out there for watching. Uh, watch for more stuff. Um, this is Adam B., and... Uh, if you want a copy of my resume, just send me, just uh, message me, and I'll send you a link. I'm looking. Thanks. Oh, don't look at the shorts. Bye.